book one two three and four right now she just needs five and six and we were here yesterday and I saw that they had five and six and I didn't buy it and she was actually like distraught that I did not buy it for her it's right there so that's it right there you can get it five and six yeah five and six so what is this? This one's number five. This is number s- five. I mean, you really can't tell the difference between the two. So, five and six. Yeah, how much are they? Oh, shoot. On the other side. Dang, is it upside down? $11. $11? So, $11 each. And- okay, so I found the book right here right here don't mind my nail let me try another color nine perfect strangers okay it is $17.99 and it's about nine people gather at a remote health resort some to lose weight some to reboot their lives some for the reasons they can't even admit to themselves They know that these 10 days might involve some real work, but none of them can imagine how challenging the next 10 days will be. Yeah. So, there is a movie coming out based on this book on Hulu with Regina King, and I love me some Regina King, so therefore I'm going to buy the book, read the book, so I can enjoy the movie over the weekend. And this is another book by her truly might be guilty and she has another one Leanne the last anniversary but I've actually been wanting to read this book for a little bit coming on a little bit over a year so she also has a book called the husband's secret um, what Alice forgot oh gosh come on Uh, Big Little Lies. What is this? Oh, Spider-Man. Okay, so I'm at the clearance rack. And they have a bunch of different books. Like this adult book is $7. One of the Jason Bourne books. I don't know which installment this is. This is $7. Hardcover. It's a biology book. 
you know, there's coloring books. You kind of just have to look through it to see if anything catches your eye. Right here it says, My Life in Lists, a journal to record love goals and dreams. Mm. Childish. This is the only book that I that I saw that is like worth me getting. And it is right here, The Princess Saves Herself in this one by Amanda Lovelace. It's ten dollars. Hardcover originally twenty dollars. And it's basically just like a book of a book of poetry. You know? You know? It's like a really quick read. Something nice for your bookshelf. It could go on your coffee table. But I'm not gonna get it because I already have orders of the nacho fries please and then can I also have um, two steak quesadillas please and can I have those made without the without the jalapeno ranch sauce yes And then can I have two regular Dorito tacos, please? Yes. And one soft taco regular. And can I actually add um, onions to the two Dorito taco and the soft taco, please? Onions? To the soft taco? Yes. And can I add them on the Dorito tacos as well? Uh, are you Dorito yes, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. What do you want? After that. What do you want after that? I didn't want anything else, but who told him I was done ordering? <laughs> Yeah. I could have I could have asked Yeah. I could have I could have asked more. for more food. Like I could have asked for a cheese ready to crunch. He don't know. He just went ahead and told me my total. Yeah, that is really weird. So Oh my god, I can't get it. So what do I do if it's if it's infected? Oh we can cut your leg off. I'm sorry? Cut it right off. I think it's gonna fall. It's definitely gonna fall because you've been negative. Oh shit, I'm real close. <laughs> what all did we do today? Um, we went mall. to Barnes & Noble first. Yeah. Then we went to the mall. We went to Apple, Bath & Body Works. Then we went to Starbucks. Where else? Um, we went to like four Starbucks. We went to one, two, three, wait, one, two, Three, went to three Starbucks. Why did we go so late? Oh yeah, because they had my drink. But they didn't have mine. What did I get? Whatever. Oh. Mango dragon fruit lemonade. This is my drink. And she always gets the strawberry lemonade, but they didn't have any strawberry. So I went to a different Starbucks to see if I can find the strawberry. They didn't have it there either. Went to a third Starbucks. They didn't have it there either. So then she decided to get the same exact drink that I got at the first Starbucks that we went to. Yes. But the only reason why I did all that is because we were kind of driving in a circle. So I was going to pass those Starbucks anyways. So if I wasn't going to pass them, I would not have done all that. But because I was going to pass them, 
That's the only reason why I went to so many Starbucks. But yes, the Taco Bell, Taco Bell took forever. I thought that I was going to be able to get home, eat, all within 20, 25 minutes. I didn't know that I was going to have to wait in the line alone for 25 minutes. And then you couldn't go inside. I'll be honest with you. Taco Bell is not that great to sit in the line for 20, 25 minutes. It's just not. And then the guy didn't even ask me what kind of sauce I wanted. He just assumed I wanted mild. Assume I wanted mild, assume I wanted hot. And then he assumed that I was finished with my order. I could have ordered so much more food. I could have wanted food to feed like a football team. And he like capped me at like nineteen dollars. He was like, "Uh, uh-uh, that's enough for you. We got a long line. Gotta, you know, we gotta ration our food." But whatever. <sighs> Gonna go home and eat, and then I might show what I got at Bath and Body Works. Probably. Probably. But yeah. Probably. You what? Probably. Probably. Anyways, I'm gonna show you what I got at Bath and Body Works. Here's my bag. Nothing special. And actually, when I spent a total of $52.22, that is with a saving of um, $21.45 because as we were walking in, this nice lady was walking out and gave me her 20% off coupon. So shout out to you, whoever you are. But I didn't really get a lot of things. So the first thing I got was uh, this aromatherapy. This is a body wash. I got the lavender and vanilla sleep scent. Now this, it says that it has, um, oh, it has shea butter. It has sunflower oil, sunflower seed oil. It has vitamin E, lavender oil, cocoa seed butter, aloe. It smells really good and it's really moisturizing because I've had this before but in the um, eucalyptus spearmint and it just smells so fresh. So I mean if you like lavender you're gonna like this but it looks like you see this right here it kind of looks like a lotion I don't know like when I was getting this there was this lady she was working there and she was like really really strange like she all she kept coming up to me giving out facts like i didn't ask for help and i really appreciate like the i don't know like the attentiveness but she was just giving out random facts she was like hey you know if you want the body wash remember that this it looks like lotion but it's not it was just too much but anyways i got this it smells really good this was 13.50 then i also got um as i was leaving I realized I was gonna get the same thing, the lavender and vanilla sleep body cream in the big bottle, but that was so it was fifteen fifty. And I didn't get it because I as I was checking out, I realized that they had these trial sizes for um buy two, get one free. So I ended up just getting the body cream, the body cream of the body or what is that body wash what the hell is this yeah i got the body cream for the body wash but i got it in the little trial ones i can have one for my purse and one for like out the shower and y'all smells so good it smells so good if you okay if you like um the the sleepy lotion from lush that the one that has like the little like sprinkles so like like the iridescence on top then you'll you'll like this this is like a softer version a softer version and then the free item that i got for the buy two get free so i bought these two these were 750 each and uh, i got this right here I remember i had this like in the last video and i told you guys this was one of my favorite lip glosses so it is the menthol lip shine 100 natural mint this is always like sold out this specific one it's either they have this or they or like they they just don't have it and i haven't seen this i haven't seen this in about the last few times i went to the mall so what is this this is august the last time i saw this was last christmas so this is really nice and it's very moisturizing 
The next thing I got was I got they got me with the with the hand sanitizers, y'all. They got me with the hand sanitizers. So yeah, they were having like a special you buy five, what was it, five for eight dollars? So I went ahead and I got five. I got one of the fresh lemonade. This one is, I bought this for myself. I bought this one for my sister. This is the crisp morning air. This one, well, she smelled this. I didn't really smell this. What's this smell like? Mm, let's see. Oh. Yeah, this is, I'm definitely not a fan of this. It smells like, You know what it smells like? It smells like one of those sprays that you used to beg for like in the store growing up like after Christmas time when they have those little sets. That's what it smells like. Okay, that brand, that brand, okay, okay. With it dried down, it smells much better. The brand, um, I believe it's called Caldoon, C-A-L-G-O-O-N. They have a, um, something called like morning flower morning glory scent and that is what this smells like it smells just like the Caldoon morning morning glory it actually smells really good now that I let it dry down but this one I got is the um strawberry pound cake this smells so good I and I'm really not a fan of like scented hand sanitizers I kind of just like put it on to do what it's supposed to do which is <laughs> kill bacteria and go on my way but this this smells so good this smells so good i should have gotten the hand cream but i really don't need i really don't need any more lotion outside of the ones that i just bought and what i already have and this one is the fresh lemonade this now obviously it's gonna smell like some lemon and it smells so good now this this is crisp and this is fresh this is really you know what this smell like if you use their um their foaming hand soaps the um the kitchen lemon that's what this smells like just in the hand sanitizer form and it smells a a little bit sweeter since it's supposed to be lemonade but yeah i got these five and these were a dollar 95 each and the last thing i got a candle and the candle I got was the marshmallow fireside so I love this candle it only it's only out like in the fall times because it's like a it's a woodsy seasonal scent it's like it doesn't even smell like smoke it doesn't really have like a smoky scent but it smells really good it um well it actually does kind of smell a little smoky you know what it smells like if you're a fan of bath and body works it kind of smells like this candle yeah it kind of smells similar to the the palo santo candle yeah yeah these kind of smell similar also the um they had another one that is um a vanilla birch that kind of smells like a sweeter version of the marshmallow fireside and the mahogany teakwood smells kind of like the palo santo but uh stronger so if you like mahogany teakwood you're gonna like this and if you like the vanilla birch you're going to like the marshmallow fireside but if you like the palo santo you're also gonna like marshmallow fireside but there's also another one called flannel. It's kind of like what this was trying to be, but they kind of like messed up on the formula and decided to bottle it anyways, instead of throwing it away. So this smells really good. And it's like, what is this called? White wax. I hate, one thing I hate with Bath and Body Works, I hate when they give you a nice packaging, you know, crisp packaging. It can like fit in any design plan and then they give you colored wax like they have a last year they had marshmallow fireside with um it had leaves on it leaves on like the the container on the design with orange wax it just looks so out of place i was so upset i didn't even buy any but i ended up 
I didn't even buy any. I ended up waiting until they um, came out closer to Christmas time when they had like the snowflake. Let me see if I can, oh, here. I waited until they, it came out closer to Christmas and I bought this packaging instead. Like this packaging looks so much better than the one that they had with like the leaves. I wasn't really understanding that. But what I noticed with Bath and Body Works is that you can buy their candle one year and it smells amazing. And then the next year you go and you buy it and it doesn't smell as strong. So like this smells extremely strong, like this version, but this packaging right here is lighter. Now I'm gonna test my theory. I'm gonna let my sister smell them. So I'm gonna let her smell the old one, smell this. Right, you got it? Yeah. And then I'll let her smell the new one. This one's definitely lighter. Yeah, so the newer version is lighter. I don't know why they do that. I think they do that when they're getting ready to come out with an intense version because the mahogany teakwood used to smell extremely strong, like real nice. And then it started smelling like a little bit dull to me. And the next thing you know, went back to the mall, went back to Bath and Body Works, they had a high intensity version so i think they're gonna come up with a high intensity hopefully around christmas time and i will definitely be buying it mm -hmm. yeah and this candle was how much was this candle 24 dollars 50 cents it says that the fragrance notes is toasted marshmallow smoldering woods fire roasted vanilla crystallized amber with natural essential oils and i would say that it is accurately uh described and if you wanted to know the the Palo Santo notes is Palo Santo wood, warm amber, soft musk cream, and essential oils, which is kind of why they smell similar because they both have, uh, this one has warm amber, this one has crystallized amber. And just in case you, in case you care, I have the mahogany teak wood right here, the high intensity of course, because I am a mahogany teak wood whore. And you know what mahogany teak wood smells like? Y'all ever y'all remember going to like stores like um like Hollister and like Forever 21 like five, ten years ago? That's what this smells like. I feel like like Hollister, Abercrombie, what's another one? American Eagle, they all used to have like their signature perfumes at the register and they all they always sprayed their perfumes in their colognes on their section so like the girl clothes got sprayed with the perfume and the guy clothes you know vice versa but the notes of mahogany teak wood is and because i have the high intensity it says an intense version of our classic home fragrance with notes of rich mahogany black teak wood dark oak and frosted lavender with essential oils that must be why i really like this because i love me some lavender Ooh, do you smell lavender in this yeah okay well, that must be why my sister hates it because she hates lavender but you see this nice packaging you see this nice packaging nice packaging and this one this old mahogany sequel from last year nice packaging i don't understand how they could ever like decide that they're going to the whole colored wax i feel like colored wax should not go in like signature signature ones like this it's just, color wax should be for like uh what's that one called uh there's like a island margarita that needs like colored wax there's a um a watermelon one i understand you putting pink red wax in that but anyways so with my 20 percent off discount this came out to be um this came out to be $19.60. Um, these hand sanitizers came out to be $1.28 a piece. These all came out to be, because they were buy two get one free, they ended up being uh, $4 each. $4 each. And then this was, went down from $13.50 to $10.80 yeah ten dollars and eighty cents so my total was fifty two dollars and twenty two cents and that was all i got from bath and body works bye bye yeah, yeah, yeah.
yeah, yeah.